tonight between two fine actors, William Daniels of the TV series St. Elsewhere and the voice on Knight Rider, and John Cullum, who is about to open with George C. Scott on Broadway in a production called The Boys in Autumn. You were together in, uh, in two musicals, On a Clear Day You Can See Forever and right. in uh, 1776. Yes. Right. In fact, you not only were in 1776, he was what? Well, he played a wonderful role in that, but other than that, <laughs> what does he want to do? What does he want to say? I was, I was Bill's understudy. Right. Just his in understudy. case he didn't yeah. show up. Right. Now you're going to be together again Monday night yes. at, a, at a gala occasion at Lincoln Center in New York City. Yes, Called cool. Broadway Applauds Lincoln Center. Right. Lincoln Center. What are you going to do there? What are you going to do there, William Daniels? Well, I think I'm going to join the chorus oh, and uh, sing a little. I'm also going to uh, reminisce about... Uh, my days at Lincoln Center, or my days when I uh, sang with the Philharmonic, which not many people you know. You sang with the Philharmonic? I, I certainly did. That. You want me to tell you about that? Yeah, quickly? fast, yeah. Not fast. <laughs> at Carnegie Hall, the Hallelujah Chorus, Toscanini conducting. And I oh, the Messiah? At, uh, high School of Music and Art. I was in the chorus. That puts me to shame. <laughs> I never did that. <laughs> no. What are you going to do? I'm singing a song from a new musical, uh, Captain America. Oh, nobody asked me to lead a parade. It's about a an over-the-hill um, comic strip hero. Of course, you're a professional singer. You won a Tony Award for Shenandoah, right, which yeah. was a musical, and you won another Tony Award. On the 20th century. On the 20th right. century. Uh -huh. And you are the reigning Emmy winner for oh. Best Actor of the Year for St. Elsewhere. There's a girl warming up over there. Did you? That's yes, right. That's well, she's next. <laughs> <laughs> There's a girl in a leotard somewhere else in the studio, and if you stay long, you get rid of these two donkeys, and you'll see that pretty girl over there with the flattest stomach you ever saw in your life. I think she's warming up for the show That's on right. Monday night. But don't all women do that while you guys are talking? <laughs> now, I want to ask you something. The Boys in Autumn, Right. that's not anything like The Boys of Summer, is it? No, no I, I don't know The Boys of Summer. That's baseball. No, oh, no, 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 no. Roger this Tyler. is about uh, Huck Finn and Tom, and Tom Sawyer. Uh-huh. And, and, and you were George C. Scott. That's right. An unusual person. You've also worked with George C. Scott. Yes, I have. On his old uh, series called East Side, West Side, which goes back quite a way. Is he hard to work with? Because he's a fine actor. No, he's not, no, he's hard, not to hard to work with. He's not hard to work with. At least I, I, of course, uh, I, don't, I don't argue with him. <laughs> uh, I, but he's not hard to work <laughs> he with. He makes any suggestions, I try them right away. <laughs> George, is everything all right? You feel okay? <laughs> you are a tough surgeon on St. Elsewhere. Uh, you are a surgeon who once in a while says, oops, which we don't like to hear in <laughs> surgery. That's true. You are uh, in a hospital where people do make mistakes and where people are venal once in a while. I mean, it's a human place. Do you get letters from physicians? complaining or praising the, the, the medical view that we get from St. Elsewhere? I've had both sides of that, uh, actually. I've, uh, I've been on television with a doctor who uh, took exception to the fact that, uh, that I believe that uh, surgeons are human and can make mistakes. Uh, he felt it's so much more important in a matter of life and death to be the great white doctor, which it's just a matter of opinion, I suppose. On the other hand, I know I get a lot of letters from surgeons who say, yeah, I was the Dr. Ehrlich to your Dr. Craig. I, I you know, I, get to, I do get that. Do you now know that everybody in the world knows that you are the voice of the car on Knight Rider? Why did NBC try to keep that a secret for so long? Well, uh, I don't think they kept it a secret. I just, uh, I didn't know how the show was going to work out, so I said I'd just as soon accept, not accept any billing to see how it worked out. <laughs> I, you can do that when you're just a voice. Huh? <laughs> right, you know, and so I keep it a mystery. I said, we'll keep it a mystery like John I didn't Forsyth. Know I didn't know. Yeah. You, you didn't know, know he was the voice of a car? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, you go, rrr, 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 and he starts talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Lee Iacocca <laughs> got his idea. <laughs> uh, Would you ever like to do television? You've done stage almost entirely. Well, I wouldn't mind doing it, my later years, in my autumn years. Yeah. You got that, sure. Daniels? Yeah. <laughs> it's a place where good Broadway actors go when they get old. Is that what <laughs> exactly. television is? I'll, I'll play the exhaust in your car or something. <laughs> He'll be the voice and you'll be the exhaust? Now, putt, putt. now there's a show. Maybe Tinker's watching. NBC kept saying elsewhere on, even though the ratings, That's which true. I loathe ratings, because I don't believe ratings, right, were down. Know. But you have a very big and loyal audience, and your producer, Bruce Paltrow, yes. really stuck with that show. Yes, they did. They, they did. Uh, I think uh, they deserve all the credit in the world. Uh, it is a good show, however. And uh, Bruce Paltrow always said, listen, the only thing we can do, let's forget about the ratings, just do the best show you can possibly do, and, uh, and things will take care of them themselves. And they have taken care of themselves. Yeah. I wish you good luck on Broadway with George Thank E. Scott. You. That's a play I sure want to see. Okay, it starts this Friday. This Friday on right. Broadway. Right, at the, at the Circle and Square. And we're doing 
uh, the show, our show, is on uh, Monday night. Monday night at Monday Lincoln night. Center. Right. Come join us. There's going to be yeah. There's about 500 of the biggest stars in the world right. are going to yeah, be doing all pass. kinds of things it's at Lincoln Center. Really past, present, and future stars. Yeah. You betcha. Yeah. I wish you both luck. <laughs> I'm glad to know you know the words to the hallelujah that you have to say over and over again. Now, that girl that we've all been waiting for with her flat tummy after a station break. You guys go right over there.